You ever get these two flags mixed up and accidentally vandalize a bakery over something you know nothing about? <laughs> well, of course you haven't because your IQ is higher than that of a field mouse. But on this show, that's not always the case. <laughs> also, a classic high school bully gets collectively smoked by the internet. I don't lose! Yeah! Cyclists are still terrible, newsflash. And Jack Doherty continues being the worst human alive, but at least he got banned from kick. This is why we gather here, because idiots like this make all of us feel just, you know, slightly better about our mediocre lives. Welcome to Brainworms. Now, I appreciate you being here and I respect your time, so chapter markers are included if jumping around suits you like House of Pain. All that I ask is if you enjoy our time here together, you hip thrust that subscribe button and don't be a stranger in the future. Cheers. The time I mistakenly thought the flag for Greek was for Israel and took the restaurant's flag down. Oh my God. And I'm about to come back and put Free Palestine too. The Free Palestine, bitch. Look, what you looking at? You know damn well there's a genocide. You know there's a genocide. Now stop it. You taking? I'm taking this shit down. I believe this one. I'll take this one down right here. What are they gonna do? They can't do nothing. <laughs> I don't stand for it. I don't stand for it. I don't stand for this. this. There's genocide, and I don't stand for Zionism. And I'm Montclair. I don't support it. There's a and I don't stand for baklava. So you're doing the right thing, sister. <laughs> genocide. You know that, right? They're killing children. What's the purpose? Be proud of your heritage. Y'all understand there's a genocide, right? You understand, right? There's nothing against people who are Jewish, but this is, this is not okay. This is Greeky. Who's this? This is Greeky. What? It's Greeky. Really? Greeky. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was Israel. My bad. Really? Yeah. Oh, shit, my bad. Well. Look, it looked like, it looked like Israel. It looked like Israel. Okay, well, you want it back? Why well, did it already? This is not okay. Are you trying to, let me look this up. Right I'm going to be honest with you guys. This is just how I imagine most activists. Basement level IQ, mentally lobotomized and captured by every trending talking point that swarms their social media feed, desperate for purpose and validation from their peers so they record themselves ripping down flags off of a cafe so they can virtue signal to their flock of activist friends in an attempt to feel, even if just for a moment, the warmth of purpose and meaning, when in reality you're just an idiot in a lemming. <laughs> and don't jump down my throats, I'm sure that there is intelligent activism, obviously, but I wager, I wager it's mostly that. <laughs> In her defense, I mean, the flags are both blue and white, right? But it just, uh, it is, it does happen to be missing that entire, the whole Jewish star piece, you know? Now, some people saw this and were like, this is way too stupid to be real. This has to be a skit. But when this dumb bitch got interviewed by the Washington Post, this, I guess she goes by Ambamelia on TikTok. Um, she said, she said, no, this was not a skit, as some people believe. That's what she told the Washington Post. And who knows what's real? It's just as pathetic either way, quite frankly. But the craziest part is... You know, she's so infected with brain worms and desperation for attention, she just went ahead and uploaded the video anyways. After realizing her mistake, intentionally outing herself as a shit for brains because, you know, content is king. We need to make feeling shame cool again. Normalize feeling shameful online. Imagine recording that shit, washing it back and being like, oh, my followers are gonna love this. <laughs> oh, my f God! Free baklava! Apologies in advance here because the impact is going to be censored because YouTube. But this guy, Jack Callis, went mega viral this week. A Baltimore fan who just randomly beat the shit out of a couple of uh, Washington Commanders fans for no reason. Here we go. Do we got a straggler? 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 I don't lose! Yeah! Let's go! I don't Let's go! Let's fucking go! Update, he lost. 
<laughs> so this guy's name is Jack Callis, and as the internet does, they took all of 16 seconds to find out his life story, all of his places of employment. They got him terminated from where he works, and there was a warrant out for his arrest. He subsequently got arrested a couple of days later and faces assault charges and possible prison time. He's 24 years old now, but I've seen tweets from people that said they knew this cocksucker in college and said he's exactly like you think he was, just one of the worst human beings, and it's nice to see his behavior finally catching up to him. I don't lose! Well, you might not lose in a random street fight with strangers, but you definitely don't want to lose the soap once you're in prison. He's probably not going to go to prison, but there probably will be a civil lawsuit, if I had to guess, and he's probably going to have to pay a bunch of money, which feels pretty good. And honestly, a, a prison, a soap joke... Leon, really? What is this fucking 2002? I'm sorry, guys. I'll do better. The part I don't understand is if you, if you have an unrelenting desire to knock someone out, just train for the UFC, man. Get in the octagon. You get celebrated, cheered, and make millions of dollars if you're good at it. But if you do it on the street to a stranger over a football game, well, my friend, you deserve whatever comes your way because you're an insecure clown with a pile of sheep shit where your brain is supposed to be. Congratulations, Jack Callis. I wish I could hand deliver you a Brainworms Award, but... Unfortunately, I just um, I don't like I don't like visiting prison. This one's an absolute doozy. Pay attention, dude. Literally, stop. No, I'm calling the police, and you're not leaving. You're not leaving. <laughs> yes, sir. Good Nick, dude. I'm gonna go skate. No, you're not. Yes, you're I am. No, you're, you're not. You're not going anywhere until the police come. Dude, stop. No, you're a fucking. Dude, literally stop. No, I'm calling the police and you're not leaving. You're not leaving. You're not leaving. Bro's got his fucking hands on me and stuff. Yeah, guy Why? won't leave because of uh, the police. Look at this dude. What are you doing? <laughs> I can't immediately, my, I just went to look at this dude. <laughs> you know that you guys know the meme I'm talking about. Bruh, look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the. <laughs> oh, no. All right, so here's the deal. This guy's name... Eventually. F did I just do that whole thing looking at the wrong camera? I definitely did. I need to just stick with one camera. I'm such a freak. Do over. So this guy's name is Gary Peacock, spelled exactly how it sounds, just like the resplendent pheasant and shitty television streaming service. Unfortunately for Gary, he's neither majestic or binge-worthy. He's just a massive tool in a cute little spandex outfit. <laughs> and for context, Mr. Peacock apparently thought this kid tried to run him off the road and decided to accost and hold him hostage in his own car as a result. Even though the dash cam footage you see here shows nothing of the sort. So crazy. No, you're not going anywhere. Oh my God. You're not going anywhere. I don't want to be aggressive with you, dude. You already are. You pushed into me. I asked you to wait. You didn't, I didn't wait. Push into you did. You. How'd you get out of the car? What? You yank me. Yeah. <laughs> Gary, you were the one trying to hold him hostage in his own car, Gary. Nice fucking biking gloves, Gary. I know you're retired and probably have a lot of pent up frustration and shame because of how silly you look in those goddamn cute ass little spandex but leave the kids alone mr peacock you're giving old men with mustaches a bad reputation and that's not something i can allow because old men with mustaches are typically the best colonel sanders for example yeah, i've got a very aggressive teenager very that aggressive hit me in the car and now he won't give me his last name and now he's trying to leave <clears throat> i'm in park city near the park city dude park. is so we're at the so skate. out of breath the skate park Mm -hmm. He's in a Subaru. Mm -hmm. He's in a Subaru. Yeah, he's a license plate. You see, that's what it is. When a grown man in a spandex outfit gets in proximity of something kind of cool, like a skate park, the estrogen just starts to take over, and then all bets are off. <laughs> you know, it's just shit hits the fan. The license plate is, and he's he's recording me because he's a jerk. Look at him wallowing around mm -hmm. with his little clip on. And I want you to come and give this guy a ticket. I'll be willing to testify in court against this guy. He did not hit me Can there. you even imagine this le this level of... F f <laughs> I'm trying to think of a word that's not going to be offensive. Uh, I can't. But you understand what I'm trying to say. Listen to what he says. And I want you to come and give this guy a ticket. I'd be <laughs> He's on the phone with the police. I, I need you to come and give this guy a ticket. I'd be willing to testify in court. He drove close to me on in his car. He drove close... What a fucking loser! I'm willing to testify in court against this guy. He did not hit me. There's a law in, in Utah that says you have to stay three feet from a cyclist. He did not. He just went 
right next to me. Roll the clip. The dude just drove on the street, gave him a little bit of a berth. It's not even close, Gary. I wouldn't bother pulling over if this guy weren't unsafe. Are you sure? I recorded myself. He was putting his hands on me, ripping my door open and stuff. I know. Because you were trying to leave. I was not. You were getting out of the car. Stop You're being a liar. It's in your here. phone. Dude. It's in your phone. You just smash his phone. You're an asshole. Okay, cool. Can cool. you back up, please? No, I'm not. I'm not leaving. I'm You're staying right here. No, because you might leave. And I want you to be here when the police get here. He's I'm trying not. to leave. Dude, my... Dude, you think you were... You think I was in your space over there? Yes. Then... I'm a riding at, a bike. I have more rights than you. <laughs> what, dude? I you have the right of way. And no. there it is! I'm riding a bike. I have my bike. My bike. My bike. Listen, I don't know if you guys watch my other channel where I record videos with my wife, but there is a running theme throughout the years involving my unadulterated hatred of cyclists. And this is certainly stoking the flames. And I'm sorry if you watching are a road cyclist. I'm sure it's good exercise, but your outfits are corny as hell and you have more estrogen than testosterone and cars have the right of way. You're here watching a Leon Lush video though, so that's a step in the right direction, but just please don't ever turn into this guy, I beg of you. You know this cocksucker, some like retired dude living off pension in a three and a half million dollar suburban mansion, biking around in his spare time when he's not golfing and then just has no purpose in life, so he does shit like this because he has no other way to get his fucking Ghibli's roasting up, you know what I'm saying? This get like, give this guy purpose. Start like Gary, Mr. Peacock, find something in life that makes you feel, that makes you feel important because it's clearly not working for you, what you're doing right now. Oh, I have the right of way when I'm on a bike. Do you ride a bike? Sometimes. Oh, you don't ride a bike. Obviously, okay. you wouldn't have been so close to me if you did. Perfect. Yeah. Dude's like, dude's like, I mean, like sometimes Gary, like when I need to get places, but I certainly don't dress up in a fucking sob spandex suit with little gloveys and clicking booties. <laughs> but yeah, like who doesn't occasionally ride a bike? Like, no, you don't. If you if you rode a bike, you would know why I'm so mad. I'm Mr. Peacock. The other guy it won't leave. He's just standing here. He's standing there, but I don't feel safe with both of them here. Just leave. Please leave. I'm asking. I'm sorry, Gary, you don't feel safe, Gary, in a beautiful suburban park with a couple of teenagers. They got you shaking in your little clicking shoes, Gary. Should we get the ambulance to come along with the officers to make you to make sure you're safe, Gary, before they arrest the gang banging criminals? Your teeny tiny little clicking shoes, Gary. As a sidebar, this is a little bit of a cell phone because I actually wear click in shoes on the Peloton bike when I'm exercising sometimes, but I don't wear spandex and I'm in, my, I'm in the comfort of my own home. And they're also large, I have size 15 feet, so they're massive, so that helps. A little bit, I think. Asking you to leave. As a friend, he's gonna stay. He's staying because these two are trying to intimidate me. I'm so scared. They're coming. If I have it my way, you're going to jail. If I have it my way, you're going to jail. I mean, imagine wanting someone to go to jail for driving by you in a car, dude. All right. Are you separate separate sides of the parties? Yes. Yep. Okay, if you'll stand over there by those, well, those cars. I'm complaining party. Fantastic. <laughs> Can I tell you what happened? Fantastic. Will you go stand over there for a second? Yeah. I appreciate it. <laughs> the average Kamala voter right there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. I gotta say though, that young man handled himself with poison restraint and I mean, just completely de-escalating the whole time to make sure this old mustached spandex little clicky booty idiot didn't get more aggressive than he already was. So kudos to that kid. The tweet I actually saw of this video was from allegedly his mother who was like, this happened to my son. I'm so proud of how he behaved, but look at this dumbass. And look, we shall. <laughs> Gary Peacock, you son of a bitch. This is the crazy thing though, cause the internet is forever though. So you do some shit like this, you're in the heat of the moment, your emotions take over, you know you're being recorded. You know, you're not in your head thinking like, oh, this is gonna end up viral on Twitter and then I'm gonna absolutely be the laughing stock of, you know, the collective social media circuit and YouTube commentators. And then it happens and all because you, decided to wake up and put on spandex as a grown ass man. Every time I make fun of bikers, dude, I get roasted by at least like two or three commenters who are wicked into road racing, street racing, which is, I get it. I'm, I'm sure there's cool ones out there, 
but I just can't wait. And I'll have you know, I see you. I can't wait for it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> This man drove by me in his car, arrest him! Uh, so update on the case actually, which is great. The, the kid's charges were dismissed once he provided the DA the dash cam footage. The man paid a fine for whatever, some public nuisance or I mean, imminent domain, try, like holding the kid hostage in his own car basically. And this kid is contemplating a civil case, which listen, I would say take it bro. May, like, I, I don't know, like I'm not one to be petty normally, but after watching that, I'm like, yeah, make just like m inconvenience Gary's life. Although like if you're young, if you're like a young go-getter, you're probably busy. Gary's just sitting around with his dick in his hand in between fucking road races. Retired, probably sipping on fucking bangle tea or some dumb shit. So, I mean, you know, tread, tread carefully, I guess. And finally, we have one of the worst people on the planet crashing his McLaren. I know this is a few weeks old by now, but I just had to watch and <laughs> make a comment. Can't help myself. Jack Doherty. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Oh, f no, watch out, watch oh. out. Oh. <sighs> open the door, open the door, open your door. We're Holy sh Holy f Okay, so here's the reality. If you're not reading your live chat on your phone, while you're driving a supercar on the highway in a rainstorm, then you're simply not keeping up in 2024. All gas, no brakes. All air, no brain. Not a singular fucking brain cell to speak of. And I'm not gonna go into detail about Jack Doherty because if you don't know who he is, you're a much better off human. And if you do know who he is, you're already aware that his life is worth less than a piece of llama shit on the bottom of my boot after I'm done feeding chickens at the local fair. This kid is the epitome of every single thing I loathe about our present day society. Oh, Michael. Uh, Are you okay? That's Michael, his fuck? cameraman slash friend. Oh my God, bro. My whole... Bro, my whole car, bro. Now, interestingly, in this clip, they cut out the part. There was just a hard cut to like the crash and then to them after the car. There's another clip here that I want to show, which shows the footage of them in the car after the crash. And it's very, it's compelling, to be honest. Here we go. Help! Help! Break the f***ing door! <laughs> oh! Oh! Help! Did they just kick the windshield? Can you hold this? Oh, 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 First thing he does... First thing he does to the people trying to help them in a high-speed McLaren accident on the highway is ask them to hold his phone that's live streaming. I, I simply cannot. Oh, no, my car, bro. Dude, my car. Holy shit, no. Are you kidding me, bro? Let's make sure we get some no. good footage. Oh, by the way, while you're worried about the stream, your like, you your friend's literally like stuck in the passenger seat, bleeding with a broken arm. <laughs> and <laughs> just that's, oh oh shit, Michael, you good? Let me just hold on. Let me check chat real quick. Good? Oh shit. Oh. Michael. So this is what I mean, you know, the reality is there's no situation, no matter how grave, that could possibly take precedent over filming for this young idiot. He is completely captured by content brain, which is a terrible paradox because it makes your life a show for people to digest and share online. And unfortunately, that can be turned into a lot of money, but it simultaneously makes you an insufferable shitbag that would record your own mother getting her limbs ripped off one by one by a troop of gorillas if there was even a 1% chance you could monetize it online. No f***ing way. Oh my gosh. There's no f Michael, here. Michael, do you have film on that phone too? How are you gonna go, uh, this is just a weird, weird off topic. Uh, how are you gonna go from 37 F-bombs to oh my gosh, right? You can just drop like 30 fucks and then just be like, oh my gosh, instead of oh my God. It's for like, it's weird. It's kind of like that, it's that weird like crit, like that, that religious thing where it's like, oh yeah, I'm religious, where you're like the worst human ever, but as long as you don't take the Lord's name in vain, you'll go to heaven, right? Yeah, <laughs> it's like one of those. I don't know why I'm, I don't even know why I talked about that, but it just, these things make me think. Oh, oh my God. Do 
else you need me to get out of the car? Do you want to take that shit so he doesn't have to? You're Wait, let him, let him have that, let him have that. Yeah. Let, him have, let him have that, and then McKinley, can you just... I think I was. I oh God, can, you can you come on here on the phone? And yeah. you can come. Make it look good. We'll look through here the whole time. Go over my clue. Just make it look good. Just make it look good. I told you I wasn't going to talk about him, but I I made a video about Jack Doherty maybe five or six years ago because he was he he was like he was a fourteen year old tyrant. He was on like Dr. Phil. He's like the male version of the Catch Me Outside girl, kind of, but somehow 30 times worse. And there really is like there's there's an element of letting your kids have access to these things too early on that doesn't allow their brain to develop normally. So now he's he's unable to see life through a lens that isn't f filtered through what potentially is always going to be content, you know? And it's unfortunate that that type of thing is looked up to, right? Like this, by a lot of younger generations, like, oh, you're rich, you're successful, you make money. But this, to me, is is possibly the worst possible way to live. I get it. You have nice things. You make a bunch of money because, like, every single moment of your life is turned into content. But you, there will come a day of reckoning where you get to a certain age. I don't know that he's ever going to grow into a man. I don't think someone like this ever becomes a man. They're just a, an adult child for the entirety of their life. But there will probably come a day where there, there will be a reckoning and there will be an emptiness and an, and an, an inability to cope. Like once the, once the attention fades, well, you know, once that, once that high goes away and you have to, you have to live with just yourself without all of that and all of the onlookers at all times, every single and it's going to be a disaster. I mean, you see that with children stars. This is kind of like the new age child star, but it's way worse, in my opinion. Can you make it look good? The only thing sadder than seeing a beautiful piece of machinery like that McLaren get shredded to pieces by a guardrail is the fact that he's apparently walking away mostly unscathed. He did get permanently banned on kick, though, which is a mild W in a world of injustice. But I bet my life he'll continue to find a way to make this world infinitely worse with every wasted breath he continues to take. That said, he did buy his cameraman that he almost killed a jet ski. So all is forgiven. Hands Holy clean. Shit. Your new jet ski. Oh. Bathed in the holy waters of spending a few bucks on the dude you almost killed by being a f moron. All right, guys, it. I got my filmer a brand new 300 right, power supercharged hey. jet ski as a I'm um, sorry gift for you know getting him in that McLaren crash. He's been wanting this for literally ever. It's my birthday today, but it's our birthday after what I put him through a couple days ago. It's I so funny, like the iterations. Like seven years ago, this was Jake Paul, and everyone hated him. And then he grew up to become like the boxer, became kind of a heel. And it's like, eh, okay, he's still kind of a loser, but it's suffering. And then like each iteration of younger Jake Paul seemingly get worse and worse. I'm just waiting for the pendulum to swing back the other way. I don't know if it's going to, but in the meantime, uh, just keep buying jet skis, I guess. Guys, Everything will be Michael fine. Just got back and now I'm going to surprise him. The fuck up. Yeah. Holy shit. Your new jet ski. Oh, On God. Sure. Wait, dead ass? <laughs> new jet ski. Oh. I'll save you the time and the dude's just like oh dude dead ass oh, oh dead ass bro fucking dead ass oh, are you dead ass jack did you actually did you get me a jet ski fucking dead ass oh dead ass jack dead ass oh, oh fuck. Dead ass, child. Uh, ha. I apologize. I know that was miserable to get through, but I hope you feel a little bit better about your life as I do about mine right now. Do me a favor and check out the Brain Worms merch at the links below. We got some legacy gear down there with some new stuff on the way. And if you have anything you see in your day to day and you like the show and you want to submit it, you can send it to submit at brainworms.com and me and my team will take a look and maybe include it in one of these videos. I appreciate you being here. Make sure you hip thrust that motherfucking like button. I can't wait to see you in the next one. Thanks for joining me. Peace.